All the fans on their feet. Green flag is in the air. Corey Heim with a great start going into turn one. Christian Eck is peeking up on the outside of Enfinger. Watch He's this move by William Byron in the 51 trying to get around Grant Enfinger. He got down on the inside of him off of turn four and was able to run side by side through three, one and two, but then off two, he lost his grip. But you can see, makes that pass now. He's a fast truck. Pass for the lead for the first time this evening. Christian Eckes gets around Corey Heim, but it was a close one. It was. They got caught up with Brett Holmes. Christian Lap took advantage of it too, didn't he? Yeah, and you can see the closing rate. These guys have to make predictions of how this is going to play out. And it just hung Corey Heim up a bit right off turn two. And when you're second trailing the leader like that, you see that situation, you say, oh yeah, I'm yeah. going to pounce. Yeah, Corey caught him just absolutely the wrong place. Could not have caught him at a worse spot, and that cost him the lead. Brett Holmes in the 32. His crew chief, Jerry Baxter, want to tip of the cat to him. He had a problem yesterday at the track, a medical issue, but he is at home resting, watching us, says he feels fine. So, Jerry, we're thinking about you. Yes, we are. That was fun to say. <laughs> good, good battle right here. Daniel Dye was leading that battle. This is right in front of our leader, Christian Eckes. All these drivers here desperately need to stay in front of that 19 truck to stay on this lead lap when the caution comes out here shortly. Christian Eck is trying to work his way around, get around this lap traffic. Oh, ben Rhodes. dancing off turn there. Turn two was Ben Rhodes. I thought Christian there might just. Team, bottom of three. There he, he is. The Good move there. Good move. I think he needed to back her down, didn't you? Absolutely. Looks like he is going to make a pass, is he not? Christian Eckes wins stage one. Matty D got by. Truck to the top side. Corey Heim with a great restart. Shot out of a cannon, takes the lead. Nick Sanchez making hay right yeah, there, making his way up into fourth right now, yeah, Mario. Great, great pit stop for Nick Sanchez. The battle for second. Will he be to the bottom? Will he be fixed up that truck? Woo, 25. Matt Benedetto so loose with Nick Sanchez right behind him. And that's a battle for seven. Mm. Want to note the free pass was Ben Rhodes. And also, it looked like Ty Majeski might have worked on that power steering as well during that caution. So, a couple of guys needing that stage break. Way back when, you know, more IndyCar drivers coming to do some NASCAR, you know, like the Parnelli Jones and all that. Which, you know, were quite successful. AJ, how I many races did he win, you know? And uh, so and it was it was healthy to have that and to see that now and then. And of course, uh, only about, what, I think about six years ago when uh, Kirk Bush came over to, to he drove for Michael. Did a and, great uh, job, too, didn't he? Great six, job. Yeah. Six in the yeah. 8500. Yeah. 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 William Byron tries to get around Corey Heim, and he does it. William Byron, your leader. Here to go. Two to go in this stage. Two to go. That was a nice save you made there, Mario. Yeah, you bet. Thank you very much. <laughs> oh, that's, that was pretty. Some more people yeah. after that two truck. Oh, look at that. Look, look at, I mean, he's loose. He yeah. is loose. He's yeah. getting ready to get a caution, though, so yeah. that'll be good. Yeah, Danny Stockman will yeah. tune him up here, tighten that truck up some. Then look out the last, uh, last stage here. And Nick Time Sanchez. Yep, he slipped back to 16. Final lap here. To go. Uh, 51, <laughs> and William Byron makes his way around. William Byron, Corey Heim, Jen. Christian yeah. Eckes. There it is. William Byron, first career truck stage win. Ooh. All about these two drivers side by side. Green flag in the air. Nice start by Eckes. But Heim's on that high side. Eckes could get loose down there. Stuart Friesen, second row on the bottom. William Byron trying to make up for those two spots he lost on pit road. If these trucks stay side by side, William could make it three wide. Look how a good run coming off the corner, but it looks like, no, is Eckes going to clear him? He is. What a great job in three and four by Eckes. As you see, Stewart still side by side back there, hanging down on the bottom. A shot at the championship this season. 
Oh, a great battle right here. Oh, Timmy no. Hill. He's going to run out of room. Man, I don't know how he kept that truck off Timmy Hill. Oh. And they're wrecking on the front stretch. Zane Smith involved. Colby Howard, Chase Purdy. A lot of damage to Zane's truck, obviously. Looks like Chase Purdy is stuck against the inside wall. First caution for an incident tonight. There's Purdy, as you said, Phil. Oh, yeah, a lot Lots of damage, of damage. There. I didn't see that wreck. I, I heard it. They wrecked right in front of us. And so they're running around, around about 17th. You see the damage. What a what a disappointing night for Zane Smith. Week in and week out, our most consistent, yeah. best truck. Over the last two years. Yes. And Chase Purdy, we saw that. I talked about his pit road issue. He stalled the engine and went all the way to the back, and he was in 25th and was trying to work his way through the field, and this is what happened. That's why a mistake on pit road. You're so lucky if you could overcome it, and he wasn't able to do so. Very frustrated. Qualified 10th, had a good truck. Yeah. Chase will have to take the mandatory trip to the infield care center. I think Colby Howard, if they just get him pushed back and get him going, I think he'll be okay. Hardly any damage to that truck. Look at our AMR safety team. They do it all. Remember that straightaway, that straightaway is banked too. They're trying to push that truck, just two of them. Now three of them are trying to push it back uphill. They're really doing a pretty good job. They can get them going in the right direction. Tend to the drivers and they help push their trucks. Zane Smith makes it to pit road. I don't think Zane's night's over, Phil, but certainly he wasn't competitive before he got the damage. It's going to be a tough night. See if we can tell what happened here. This was the first wreck that almost happened. Yeah. I don't see how he kept it off of there. Oh, right. Oh. That, there it was. You see Zane got in the back of Matt Crafton. And then Chase Purdy, Colby Howard just tried to avoid Zane. Nothing that those two could do at that point. We talk about how narrow this track is, and that wreck happened right in their lap. Yeah, Zane was trying to get underneath Matt. They came off the corner. Zane was trying to get underneath Matt and couldn't quite just clipped him a little bit. There he is right there. He clips Matt Kraft. An amazing save by Matt. Look at Raja Karuth just yeah. barely escapes that. Some great camera yeah. work watching these trucks slip and slide. And I can't imagine we won't have a good view from Daniel Dyes on board. We usually do. <laughs> <laughs> He's on the track, isn't he? Yeah. He's going to have a good view of it. Thank you, Danny. That's right here. Clear behind him. Oh. About to spin in front here. Come on, keep coming. Hurry up, hurry up, hurry, hurry, hurry. Caution's out. That's okay. when you just try to get out of there in a hurry. You could hear him plant that gas pedal to the floorboard and keep on digging. Hosevar goes around. Raja gets around to the top Hold side. The break, Hold the brake. Hold the brake. Can you keep it off the wall? Is that what you were talking about, Michael? That's what I was alluding to, Phil. Yeah. Careful down on the bottom. They were racing for the 12th position and just got into the back of Carson. You, you know, you, 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 as an analyst and racer for all these years, you start to see, like, what, what's coming. And it, it just felt like it's, it's time for people to start pushing people around. I said 35 laps to go. That means you know, <laughs> people are going to have less patience than they did before. You know, it's been... What, 20 laps since we last pitted? We've had some caution laps, but 10 laps is a lot. I, I think we're going to see some trucks come down pit road. Maybe all the trucks come down pit road. Well, let's look at what happens here. Just trying to hang on the inside of Carson and just wasn't room to make that move. And nice job. He didn't panic when it happened, was able to get around the outside without wrecking his own truck. But now he's got a mad Carson Hosevar. Oh, guess who came to the party? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, without a doubt, Daniel Dye is going to. Check up, he's down low. They just stay your line. Stay there your line. You Watch him slide up here. Clear up, clear up, clear up. Thank well, you, Daniel, for yeah. carrying that on board every week. Yeah. Welcome to Rockville. <laughs> Welcome to Daniel's world. Starting to the outside. Road. Side by side they go. NASCAR overtime for the second time. Green flag in the air. Stewart did not get the start he needed. Look at Corey Heim now on the inside again. He's in that red truck Ooh. off the racetrack. He just passed five trucks at one time. Corey Hyman, the 11, is on the move. How about Nick Sanchez right now, back up in the top five, right behind William Byron. Can they make it back? That's the question. They are stacked up. Christian Eckes, though, checking out. Stuart Friesen right in the high side, trying to make it stick as they come down the front stretch. Can make it to the white flag. They ran in fingers into the wall, but the caution is out. I'm not sure when the caution came out. 
We had a truck rub the wall and slow up coming out of turn right four. I don't know. They, they did not no, take the white. Ugh. So that means we're going for <laughs> I see the fans waving and saying three in the air. We're going for NASCAR <laughs> overtime for the third time. Darn for Grant Enfinger. Another solid oh. night for him. Oh, Mario Andretti truck. Yeah, Nick had made his way up into the top five. He must have been involved with Grant because he's be He's being shown now outside the top 10. The last time I looked, I'm telling you, he was running fifth right, or fourth right behind fifth right behind William Byron. I tell you, I, I don't believe I, I believe he took the white. I know it's a timing thing with a button and a scoring loop. Is that what they're saying now? Is that what his team is saying now? The team is celebrating. Yeah, that's I thought that's. They're saying the leader took the white flag is what we're being told right now. 19 Christian Eckes wins at Darlington.